Kanye West's Air Yeezy trainers are being auctioned for $1 million, £726,400. The rapper, 43, wore the shoes during his iconic 2008 Grammys performance, and the size 12 sneakers are Sotheby's most expensive ever shoe listing. The black leather trainers, which feature a faded Nike logo and were designed by Kanye and Mark Smith at Nike's Innovation Kitchen in Oregon, will be displayed at Collector Ryan Chang's Hong Kong exhibition between April 16 and April 21. The stronger hitmaker's Yeezy line, launched in 2015, and went on to make him a billionaire thanks to the roaring success of the collections. Kanye created his exclusive footwear brand in partnership with Adidas in 2015, and unveiled his first apparel collection named Yeezy Season 1 that same year. Before his Yeezy partnership, the doting father designed shoes for Bathing Ape and Nike in 2012, however, after five years and three designs, Kanye ended their partnership because the latter failed to grant him royalties. Speaking about the Nike Air Yeezy 2 release in 2012, Kanye said, It was the first shoe to have the same level of impact as an Air Jordan, and I wanted to do more. And at that time Nike refused to give celebrities royalties on their shoes. Kanye went on to have his successful long-running partnership with Adidas after they agreed to pay him royalties, and the rapper prefers to make limited quantities of his trainer releases because it helps the brand stay relevant and sell. He explained, what makes celebrity products sell so well is scarcity. So if they make it too broadly available, I think it crashes the business model. Meanwhile, Kanye has responded to estranged wife Kim Kardashian's February 19th divorce petition, asking for joint custody of their four children. ending her second marriage to husband Chris Humphreys, which lasted only 72 days. Prior to that the star was wed to producer Damon Thomas from 2000 to 2004. According to TMZ, Kim may get to hold on to the family's Hidden Hills home so as not to uproot the children. Kim officially filed for divorce back on February 19, with sources saying it had been months since she and Kanye last spoke.